we got a call early this evening from uh, a relative of an individual up here in Leisure Woods of shots fired inside one of the homes. Um, they left the suspect that fired the shots, went back into the house, and uh, refused to come out. Given that uh, the police responded, we cleared the homes that were all adjacent to the property. At that point, we called to the Metropolitan Law Enforcement Council, the SWAT team. They came out, uh, assisted us. We had a, a perimeter. Uh, we were able to bring in some resources to get up close to the house because uh, in conversation with the suspect and his family members, he told them on a number of occasions that he would shoot the first police officer that he saw. Um, the man unfortunately has some mental health issues. He was under the influence of alcohol at this time, so uh, a lot going on in his life. Uh, so we took his threat very serious and credible. So once we were able to secure a perimeter, uh, bring in the SWAT team, uh, a longtime family friend, his attorney, came up to our command post and uh, made a phone call to the suspect. Uh, they talked for a bit, and he said he would come out and talk to his attorney. Unfortunately, obviously, we couldn't allow the civilian to get up that close to the property. He was able to convince him to come out uh, with his hands up, and he did, and he was taken into custody at that point without incident. Uh, we then transported him to South Shore Hospital, where he was evaluated for mental health issues and alcohol. He has since been cleared by the hospital, and he's back at the police station now. Anybody hurt? Uh, nobody was hurt. Uh, a round was fired through the home. Uh, we obviously can't find that at this point. It did go through a couple of uh, walls inside the house. Uh, it did exit the home towards the west. Uh, we will search for that in the morning in the daylight uh, and hope that no other homes were hit. Uh, there was some other uh, weaponry found inside the home and inside some vehicles. The, the family members who were concerned removed some other weapons and some what one might consider bomb-making equipment, um, some uh, detonation cord, things along those lines. So um, we were obviously concerned once we were told about that. That's why we just had the state police bomb squad come in. Uh, they struck the vehicles in the house. They did find some uh, cord and some bomb-making equipment, although certainly not anything that was yet put together. So was it primitive? No, it was actually a uh, commercial grade uh, cord, I guess it is used to make, uh, I don't want to say debt cord, which is a military cord, I guess, but something along the lines of a uh, commercial grade debt cord. Who was a neighbor who described a bullet going over his head. I'm sorry? There was a neighbor who described a bullet going over his head. Yeah, we'll be looking for that bullet tomorrow. Uh, he did shoot in the direction of his son. Uh, apparently he did go for a mental health checkup today. He wanted some medication, the doctor didn't prescribe it, which is what basically set off this series of events. He came home, started drinking, got into an argument with his son who came to visit him. That's when the shot was fired. Um, again, a lot of this investigation is still ongoing. As you can imagine, it's been a pretty hectic scene so far tonight, so we'll know more about this come, come morning. Are there any charges at this time? Or? There will be charges. There'll be weapons charges, uh, discharging a firearm, uh, assault and battery with a deadly weapon. If he did fire it in the direction of his son, um, he did discharge a weapon in the we haven't found the bullet yet, and we're hoping that it didn't, you know, damage somebody else's home at this time. So that, and if he didn't have a license or uh, proper licensure, if you will, for the uh, debt cord and those others. Was the shot fired inside or outside the home? It was fired inside the home. It went through three different walls and did exit the home. Yeah. Yeah. How old is the gentleman? Yeah, I don't know. The son called? The mm -hmm. son. The son and the daughter were both there. Does he have a wife, too, or just? I don't know that yet. What's his name? I don't have that on me at the time, but I can get that to you back at the police section. We'll make that available. But is he 55 plus? Yes. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.